In this tutorial, you will learn how to use Siri on Mac. When you install macOS Sierra, the installer will ask if you want to enable Siri. If you don't want to enable Siri at installation, you can activate it later in System Preferences. When Sierra installation is done, you'll find Siri icons in two locations, in the dock and in your menu bar. You can launch Siri by clicking on either of these icons. You can also set a keyboard shortcut in the Siri System Preferences. The default option to activate Siri by keyboard is to hold down the Command and Space keys at the same time. Once you launch Siri through the dock or menu bar icon, or by a keyword shortcut, a Siri window appears in the upper right corner of the screen along with familiar 2-beep Siri tone. If you don't have internet connection, Siri won't work. You can simply ask, Siri, what can you do? And it will show you all the available commands. The default language is English, but you can change it to another language. You can go to System Preferences, Siri, to further adjust Siri preferences. You can change the language, Siri voice, voice feedback, mic input, and keyboard shortcut. You can also enable and disable Siri, and choose to show Siri in the menu bar. If you've got your social accounts linked to macOS Sierra, posting is as simple as speaking. Just say, tweet, this is awesome. You can even use it with hashtags by saying, hashtag, this is awesome. Facebook posts are also simple. Saying post to Facebook followed by your post content will post directly to your timeline. If you want the latest info on hashtags, just say, what are people saying about hashtag this is awesome? And Siri will show up with the latest tweets about that subject. Because Photos does a better job of keeping track of you in macOS Sierra, you can ask Siri to show you photos from certain time or place. Saying show me photos from last week will display a stream of images you snapped or saved last week, while show me photos from Portland uses geotagging to show you images from Portland. If you need an image from the web, just ask Siri for it. You can say things like, search the web for images of the Empire State Building. With Siri, you can activate settings on your computer. A simple, change my screen brightness will open up the brightness controls, while mute the volume will mute the volume. You can also tell Siri to put your computer to sleep or activate do not disturb. Siri keeps up to date with messages too. You can ask her to message someone by simply saying message and the person's name, followed by your message. Similarly, you can say FaceTime followed by whomever you wish to video chat with. If you've assigned a title like sister or uncle to a contact, you can replace their name with that title. The downside to Siri's messaging capabilities is that you have to initiate the conversation. You can't ask Siri to respond to a message. She won't be able to answer video chats for you. Siri on the desktop is a lot like she is on mobile. You can ask her what movies are playing near you, or ask her if people are enjoying these movies. You can also ask her to remind you things to do like call your mother when you get home. Remember, she knows where you are and is cloud-based, so those reminders will pop up on your phone if your computer is stationary. And like you so often do, you can ask Siri to give you simple information you're too embarrassed to ask friends, or too lazy to type. You can also use iTunes commands in Siri. For example, play next song, play grunge music.